Amen, amen, hallelujah. Glad to be back with you this afternoon with another beautiful, wonderful word. So as we get in our word, let's look at Revelation 12, 10 and 11. And we titled this Overcomers. This is for the overcomers by the blood of the Lamb. There is no way we are denying Jesus and acting like we are for the Bible. There is no way God is going to go against the very thing whom he has sent us to reconcile us to him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. This was after Satan had, and his angels had been kicked out of heaven by Michael and the angels. For the accuser of the brethren is cast down, talking about Satan, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. So many people are down here in the flesh or glorifying themselves in the flesh because they love their life. What we are told that we do not love our life. Also, as we look in this scripture, you can understand that we have overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lamb that was slain to reconcile us to the Father. If you're running around denying Jesus Christ, you are none of God's. It doesn't matter how much scripture that you are reciting. Let us understand John 7 and 38 Jesus let us know when he was in the flesh, he who believe on me as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow the waters of living life. And this he spake of the spirit because the Holy Ghost has not yet been given because Jesus was not yet glorified. So Jesus was speaking of them that were received the Holy Ghost. You have to believe on him as the scripture have said. The scripture says his name is Jesus Christ. So you are not filled with the Holy Ghost if you are not calling on the blood of the Lamb as the scripture have said. Hallelujah. Check your spirit. Many spirits have gone out. If it's not a spirit according to the Bible and according to the Father who gave us his son, Jesus Christ, it is not the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Let us check and see what spirit because it should line up with what the Father has given us and how the Father has given us. Amen. Be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus.